Hello, all my pre-K friends. How are you? Believe it or not, I miss you guys already very much. And um, I'm hoping that we can see each other face to face very soon. But in the meantime, we are, I'm going to be posting some YouTube videos and reading you guys some books and continuing with sign language, um, letters of the week. Um, and I have a special guest speaker who's going to be joining me for sign language. I'm going to read a story. And that special guest is my son, Jack. Jack is hard of hearing and wears hearing aids. And he goes to college to learn um, sign language. So he's going to be joining me shortly. But for now, I'm going to do a quick review of signing our numbers to see if you guys remember how to do it. So I'm going to hold up some numbers. Let's see if you can do the sign for the number before I do. Are you ready? Here we go. Did you remember that one? Okay, I'm not going to go in order because I'm going to try and trick you. So, don't think it's going to be that easy. All right, next. That's tall man in your thumb. So you're always using your thumb, remember that, okay? When you do numbers six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Seven. Okay, am I tricking anybody? And nine those are the pinchy fingers oh, what else do we have oh this one's so easy you better remember this five <laughs> another easy one you better get this that's all it is now remember, this one is a little bit different. It's not what you think. Three. It's not these three, it's these three. Four. Pretty easy. And the easiest of all, the number one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. We're also going to be doing learning animals, animal signs. We're going to be learning emotions, and we're going to be learning foods. Hello, everyone. My name is Jack. I'm Heidi, your teacher's son. I'm hard of hearing and I go to a school with a lot of other deaf people who use sign language just like me. Some of my favorite things to do around here are to take walks in the rain, that's really fun if it's really warm, or to go to the beach. So right now I want to introduce you to sign language and show you a really fun story using this language. Once upon a time, a cat, and a dog, and a mouse, and a little red hen, all lived together in a cozy little house. The 
cat like to sleep all day on the soft couch. The dog like to nap all day on the sunny back porch. And the mouse like to snooze all day in the warm chair by the fireside. So the little red hen had to do all the housework. She cooked the meals and washed the dishes and made the beds. She swept the floor and washed the windows and mended the clothes. She raked the leaves and mowed the grass and hoed the garden. One day, when she was hoeing the garden, she found some grains of wheat. Who will plant this wheat? cried the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. Each morning, the little red hen watered the wheat and pulled the weeds. Soon the wheat pushed through the ground and began to grow tall. When the wheat was ripe, the little red hen asked, Who will cut this wheat? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. When the wheat was all cut, the little red hen asked, Now, who will take this wheat to the mill to be ground into flour? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. The little red hen returned from the mill carrying a small bag of fine white flour. Who will make a cake from this fine white flour? asked the little red hen. <sighs> Not I, said the cat. <sighs> Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. She gathered sticks and made a fire in the stove. Then she took milk and sugar and eggs and butter and mixed them in a big bowl with the fine white flour. When the oven was hot, she poured the cake batter into a shining pan and put it in the oven. Soon, a delicious smell filled the cozy little house. The cat got off the soft couch and strolled into the kitchen. The dog got up from the sunny back porch and came into the kitchen. The mouse jumped down from his warm chair and scampered into the kitchen. 
the little red hen was just taking a beautiful cake out of the oven. Who will eat this cake? asked the little red hen. I will, cried the cat. I will, cried the dog. I will, cried the mouse. But the little red hen said, All by myself, I planted the wheat. I tended the wheat. I cut the wheat. I took the wheat to the mill to be ground into flour. All by myself, I gathered the sticks. I built the fire. I mixed the cake. And all by myself, I am going to eat it. And so she did to the very last crumb. After that, whenever there was work to be done, the little red hen had three very eager helpers. Hen, hen, dab, dab, cat, cat, mouse, mouse, sleep, sleep. Chair, chair, mill, mill, dream, dream, snooze, snooze. Sticks, sticks, eager, eager, helpers, helpers, house, house. Flower, flower, sunny, sunny, wheat, wheat. <laughs>